Okay, so our goal here is to evaluate the following expressions involving variables. Now, evaluate in this case means to plug in the number they give you for the variable into the expression that they give. So we're just plugging in that value and seeing what this equation is equal to once we plug that value in. So for the first one, uh, it's 4x, so that means 4 times x, and x is 2, so 4 times 2 is 8. That's going to be over 9x squared. So here, when you see x squared, again, that means square the x and then multiply it by 9. That's a key distinction there. So x is 2. If we square that, x squared is 4 times 9 is 36 minus 3 times x. x is 2, so 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1. And this is going to equal... 8 over what? Well, 36 minus 6 is 30 plus 1 is 31. And 31 and 8 have no common factors, so we're, we're done with this one. Um, if, we, if we move on to the next one, we're given an expression with two fractions and one, let me use a different color, one, two, three variables. So I'm going to rewrite this over here. First, we have z squared over x plus y. Well, z is 4, and 4 squared is 4 times 4, it's 16, over x plus y. Well, x is 1, and y is negative 2. If we add a 1 and negative 2, we get negative 1. That's going to be added to x squared over x minus y. x is 1, and 1 squared, or, well, I say 1 to any power, is just 1, because you multiply 1 over and over again, you're always stuck at 1. So 1 squared is still 1 over x minus y. 1 minus a negative 2. If you remember, this is really equal to adding 2. So that's like 3. So here I have 16 over negative 1 plus a third. I could write this as negative 16 plus 1 third. Now if I add up these two, I'm going to get negative 15 and 2 thirds. If you think about the number line, this is how I think about it, and we have negative 16 over here. Well, if we're adding a third to it, we're going up this way by one third. And remember that with the number line and negative numbers, as we move up this way, we move towards, towards 15, which would be, let's say, somewhere over here, to negative 15. So hopping up one third, and let me get this to scale here, Hopping at one third would be one third of that distance from 16 to 15, maybe like right here. So when, when you're evaluating this expression, you're really looking at this number. And if you look at it, it's about, it's going to be two thirds from negative 15, and this is negative 15 and two thirds right here. So it's one third more than negative 16. And the next one, we have 4xyz, which means take 4 and multiply it by x, y, and z. And if you remember the commutative property, we can do this in any order. So it's really going to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 5 over y squared minus x squared. So y squared is 2. Uh, y is 2, excuse me. So y squared is 2 times 2, or 4. x is 3, so x squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. And here I'm going to get, well, 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 5 is 120, yes, 120, over negative 5. So now we're going to get a negative quotient, and 120 divided by negative 5 is going to be 20, negative 24. Oops, 24. And here I, I just saw it because I thought, well, we took... Uh, 24 times 5, and then we divide it by negative 5, which is going to be negative 24. And then last we have part D. I think I have enough room over here. So D says take x squared minus z squared. So x is negative 1 and z is 3. So x squared is going to be negative 1 times itself, which is, which is positive 1, minus z squared, which is 9. 3 times 3 is 9 over, now look at this expression, x times z minus 2x times z minus x. So here, I'm going to multiply x and z first, then I'm going to go to the parentheses and work from there. 
So x times z is negative 1 times 3, which is negative 3, minus, and I'm just going to plug these numbers in, 2 times negative 1 times z minus x. And z is 3, x is negative 1, so that's going to be um, 3 minus negative 1, which is just 4. Let me go fix this. This is a 9 here. Okay, so now what do we do? Well, well, we want to multiply these three terms right here. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 times times 4 is negative 8. So we can think of this as negative 3 minus negative 8, right? Because it was 2 times negative 1 times um, 4. Yes, okay, so that's negative 8. So negative 3 minus negative 8 is like negative 3 plus 8 which is just 5. And in the numerator, we have 1 minus 9, which is negative 8. So here in the last one, I get negative 8 over 5. All right, hope that helps.